Someone find us some clothes. Mm. Use the curtains if you must, but clothes this enormous girl. My name's Colleen Atwood, and I'm the costume designer for Alice in Wonderland. I think when you have a costume that really works for somebody, you really know it when they put it on and they start walking around in it and they start taking it on. Usually in the second fitting, the first time you're sort of getting fit right, but the second time around they start fooling around with it. This is Johnny Depp's Mad Hatter costume. His coat was made by layering over two or three layers of really sheer silk over one other piece of silk and then burning off the fabric in different areas to give it its age, but also to give it a sort of mood ring quality for lighting. He has a joke tie that he can pull up and down for when he's happy, it rises up. When he's sad, it droops down. He has a set of his scissors here. He has little bits of ribbon that could pull together to make a hat at the last minute. We figured the hatter had some spare time, and, and when he's sitting there waiting for Alice to come to tea, he did a little embroidery on his pants. He kind of lost his socks so they don't match. His waistcoat is, is tailored out of tiny little pieces of fabric that were cut and sewn over and remended, and all the buttons are different because he's a little bit like a magpie and just picks up things he sees and magically turns them into other things. Alice, you're terribly late, you know. So this is Alice's dress that she wears to the party at the very beginning of the movie. It's a real nod to the sort of blue of Alice and the sort of idea of a, of a younger kind of Alice dress. We did um, embroidery at the hem, pre-empting the, there's rabbits and rural things, sort of pre-empting her run through the fields. Because she had to fall down the rabbit hole, she has a lot of layers on underneath. So when she goes upside down in the movie, you get to see the blue and you get to see the fun stripes and you get to see the stockings and the bloomers and all those things. This is Alice's costume. When Alice turns into this gigantic Alice, we made this dress in a couple different scales to, to play with um, for Alice and then they made the curtains in a bigger, wider stripe to, to play with the, the scale of the curtains on a bigger person to smaller. So this is the sketch for this costume. It's an early version of it. and. It's close, but not exactly that. This is one of the preliminary sketches for the Red Queen. We had a lot of exercises with her costume because we played with the scale of her head. Her head is technically many different sizes in the movie, so we were trying to work out what was the best sort of approach to the costume, and this was an early version that's fairly close, but we ultimately ended up changing the neck of the costume because her collar needed to come up like this and divide her neck so she actually had a neck. Otherwise, it starts looking like a gigantic head just sitting on a little body. We did this black outline here to give her even a more kind of wasp-like middle to have it almost come to a point and then back out to the big skirt. We knew her colors would be the colors of the Red Queen's Court, which are red, black, with a touch of gold. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! 